Yeah, because it's like, also I want to look at their Instagram story, but I don't want them to see, see that I look exactly. at their Instagram story. Oh, I'm kind of excited for this. I'm actually really excited. Oh, I would be so honest. I got, oh, I got, this... Depending on the subject, I got to filter myself. Never have I ever created a fake social media account. <laughs> Boy, when I'm obsessed with you, and I'm trying to see what you do and you block me, best believe we going on a spam account. It's nothing like crazy juicy, but it's like, yeah, I've made a random account. I am like a Facebook mom. We go on people's parents' Facebook accounts, and we look, that's how you want to know if they're also like really like, if they're actually cute or not. If they look cute in their parents' Facebook yeah. post, that's how you know. If they have no photos of themselves on Instagram, barely anything in their tagged, and like, I just want to, I'll like use it to like my friends stuff so their views go up or their likes go up. I have no comment. I have. This is a normal teenage girl thing to do. I feel like the only people that would judge me hard for this are people who are not teenage girls. Never have I ever lied about my age. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Wait, I have. I think I have too. I lie about my age every time I make a new Google account. I wanted to watch a horror video, and I was like, I'm 18, yeah. I promise. I really wanted TikTok, and you had to be 13 older, so I said I was born in 1973. I went to a music festival, but if you were under the age of 21, it was like you couldn't even see the stage. Online, I think playing a game, like video game, and everybody was like, so how old are you? And I would always say my age is like two years older than what I am. I used to love the kids' menu until I was really, really old. And so I would lie to be able to get the kids' meal. But not because it was cheaper, just because I liked it. Never have I ever snooped through someone's phone. Oh. <laughs> I have. I have. Hello. <laughs> like, Hi what? there. Oh, you haven't? I have not. I feel like if I were to do that to someone I'm close with, it would ruin our relationship. Yeah, I was about to say, if, if it's somebody you love, like your boyfriend, girl, I'm telling you straight up, don't go through that man's phone if you want to eat. My friend's texting about, like, buying me a birthday present or something, you know? Like, I might have, like, snooped through, just, like, get an idea. Like, like I'll know. go through my mom's text. Like, who are you messaging, mama? Like, who are these people? They don't go through my phone. I don't go through their phone. That's probably good. You go, go in the phone. email? Yeah. My sister and I did that. Like, we checked through all of my parents' emails last Christmas. Because if someone goes through your phone and they don't a they don't find anything or they just are interested and they're worried cut that off that means they don't trust you mm -hmm. never have i ever broken up with someone over text ha! no over facetime at least i have been broken up with over audio call two hours later i had a class with them that was two hours long i've never been in a relationship so <laughs> and i haven't been in a relationship either i never dated anyone I found out something that I didn't like, and I just said a whole paragraph talking about some don't text me, don't call my phone, don't ever speak to me again. I think that any person deserves like the human decency of having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. This is why I don't think we're working. This is why blah, 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 blah. I truly do feel like it's communication is something that we struggle on because it's like, we tend to be like, oh, well, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna be petty and do it back to you. Talking on text is not talking to someone. Communicating, yes, but you're not having a real conversation. It's scarier to do it in person, but I feel like it would be the right thing to do. If I love someone and we're in a relationship and I need a breakup, I will tell you in person. Never have I ever used a fake ID. Oh. Never. Mm -mm. I am a good kid. I have never done alcohol, drugs, any of that. I feel like I don't even look my age, so that'd kind of be hard. <laughs> I'm really not gonna go through the effort of like, going there and like taking a photo and like paying all that money. I don't leave my house, so. <laughs> yeah, like why would I even need one? I've never used the fake ID because I don't know where to get one. All the parties I go to are pretty age appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> even if I got a fake ID, I look like a 13 year old. So I don't think anyone's gonna buy it anyways. <laughs> never have I ever told a secret I wasn't supposed to share. Oh. Oh. Okay, who hasn't? <laughs> if you say that you haven't, you're lying. <laughs> Oh, I do that yes. all the time, and then I'll be in the bathroom rethinking everything I said, and I'm like, why do I overshare so much? This is a constant thing. Trust is such a big thing to me, so it's like, mm -hmm. I would never betray somebody else's trust. I tell it to the wrong person, and then like, they'll say something to the person I wasn't supposed to say it to, and then it's like a whole mix-up, like, oh, what do I tell them? Like, wh what am I supposed to say now? If someone tells you something about everything from like self-harm, self-hatred, that they should not be trauma dumping on you and mm -hmm. you're not, and you're also not comfortable or in a place to know that information, 
tell someone. I'm not saying I go and like I gossip and I go tell everyone, but let's say somebody told me something like really, really juicy and like it's gonna kill me. I, I will like tell my mom. I'll be like, oh my God, guess what? And like my mom doesn't know who they are, so it doesn't even matter. I don't tell secrets, I'm not supposed to. I don't usually, but like I have. Never have I ever kissed more than one person in 24 hours. I have never. Dirty. Dirty. I feel like a lame teenager right now. <laughs> Wait, no, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Kiss. Never mind. I've kissed three people, and they were all like months apart. I haven't, and I'm not interested in doing that. Yeah, no, don't worry, you're not alone. I've literally puked at the thought of like romance, personally, for myself. I feel like these people are like, oh, like they go to a party and they just end up making out with like four different people. No, I wouldn't do that. You like, you don't know where they mouse been at. Ew. Oh, it is a bad situation. Commit to one and you are done. Never have I ever worn something I took out of the dirty laundry. Oh, every day. Wait, am I? What? I don't think I have. It was actually a clean piece of clothing. I just threw it in there because I was too lazy to fold it. You was proud of that too. You said, oh wait, yeah. <laughs> I won't wear it if it doesn't pass the smell test. But oh. you've sometimes worn something. Like, I wore it to Target for an hour and took it off when I got home. You know what? I take it out of the laundry. It smells fine. It smells like I never wore it. It's fine. I'll literally wear it for like two hours and I'll throw it in the dirty clothes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's another reason why I'm kind of like lenient about it. If you don't sweat or you don't stain jeans specifically, you can wear them like three times. I feel like once my clothes are in the basket with all the dirty clothes, like you can't get it back. Like it's it's a one time. It's shot. been infected. Like yes, I cannot no. touch that. It depends. It's very okay. it depends. Yeah, got it. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the very detailed explanation. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have to justify myself with these. Oh no, don't worry. Because I just know someone in the comments are gonna be like, you dirty animal. <laughs> Never have I ever flirted just to get something I wanted. I have. <laughs> I'm saying that I have because I've attempted to, but again, I don't know how to flirt. I flirted to get homework. There was this new kid at school. Long story short, I got free Starbucks for a week and I got a Funko Pop. These brand new vending machines at our school and there were talkies in it and I wanted it so bad. So I was like, you know what? Let me use my little pizzazz. You're like, hey. Have you done the homework? Hey, how are you? Oh, I love your hair. Did you get a haircut? Somehow, the flirting made him get me two bags of Takis. Oh, I flirted for free bubble before. Don't worry, I think almost all of us have. And, and I've will. done that, and it, and it works. I like when you're at the store and there's a cute cashier and you flirt to get like a discount. <gasps> I had like... a free Starbucks drink one time. Right, like it works. Never have I ever had a crush on a friend's sibling. I don't know. <laughs> I was 12, and I had a crush on my friend's older brother. Yeah. I feel like that's so common. Like, you go over to their house for a sleepover, and then all of a sudden their brother walks down the stairs, and you're like, mm. No, that's Hi. like a, a book moment right there. <laughs> Isn't that breaking girl code or, like, friend code? Well, I didn't act on it. I okay. just thought he was, like, cute. Okay, okay, okay. All of my friends have younger siblings. Yeah, that's like, why. I, but they're all, like, younger, younger, like, elementary school younger, so. Yeah, so no. Mm. I feel like there's a very blurred line between finding someone attractive and having a crush on them. And I feel like they've merged a lot. Like, I'll be like, oh, he's so cute, but I don't have a crush on him. Him. Never have I ever creeped on an ex on social media. My current boyfriend. Hi, babe. Yes, I have. I've stalked you when you blocked me. <laughs> I have never. I never had an ex. I've had ex friends, but like most of them were like, I regret it so much. Can we be friends again? I was like, <laughs> no, thank you. No, it's like one and done. The guy broke up with me out of nowhere. Oh. Turns out he was hanging out with this group of girls all the time. They were FaceTime. There's every always night. another girl and involved. When, whenever he was like, oh, I can't call right now, he was on FaceTime with a group chat of girls. Yeah, I haven't. Easy points. Don't be ashamed of it, though, for real. If you've done it, I say don't be ashamed. It's normal. Never have I ever ghosted someone. Uh, <laughs> I had given him my number in elementary as like a. Oh yeah, sure. I really didn't want to hurt his feelings. So even though he almost ran me into a wall, I didn't say anything. You know when you're in a conversation with this guy and you already said like three okays, three El Mayos, and three yeses and they still keep going? <laughs> I was trying to get over my ex, aka my current boyfriend. I was trying to get over him. So I was entertaining somebody and just goes him out of nowhere. I kind of gradually like, st like take hours to respond, you know, maybe even days to respond to them. And then eventually I'm kind of just like, let me just leave you on red. <laughs> I've like added people on quick add on Snapchat, like I've added people back. And then if our conversations have only been really boring or like, they'll send you like the side of your face and it's kind of just like, what do you want me to say to that? So then I'll like ghost. Never have I ever cheated on someone. I have never, I've never done that in my life. 
No. I have never, and I don't think I will. Good people, good people. Okay, thank you. And I find that there's little to never ever an excuse cheating. If you are unhappy with somebody, you easily just tell them, do not go cheat. I've been cheated on, it's so heartbreaking to find out. It makes you question yourself. I can understand how wanting to hurt their feelings by like, you can tell they really, really love you, but you fell out of it. But like, that still doesn't give you a reason to just go cheat with them. I don't want to ever get cheated on, so. Yeah, I feel like if I didn't like him anymore, I would probably break up and then go yeah. with someone else instead of going with someone else while being in a relationship. I guess like people are like polyamorous, but yeah, that's I, that, a discussion that, that you need to have. It's like, don't go cheat. Like, just don't cheat. There's so many other ways you can go about a relationship. Do not mess up somebody's whole mindset and have them questioning their worth and their value because you're not sure of your own. Any interesting things you learned during the course of this game? That I learned I'm a how boring wholesome person. people can be. Oh. <laughs> but no, like sweet, like you've never told a secret to anyone. I feel like you're the first person I've met who can say I've never told anybody a secret to anyone. We're like a couple years apart, but we're very common. I know. I feel like when it comes to that, like I almost like know a lot about it just because like I have an older sister. You are not responsible for other people's happiness. I say don't judge yourself too hard based on, you know, some of the things you've done. Learning from your mistakes is the best thing you can do instead of judging them. Thank you for watching this episode. Never have I ever subscribed to React. I have. <laughs> Let us know what other games you want to see us play on future episodes. Bye! Okay, I get kids meals, but I don't, they've never been like, how old are you? Who are you to say I'm too old? What if I don't want like all six? I'm not that hungry, but I'm still a little bit hungry and I want four. <laughs>